and I'm here today with uh, Albert Mondor, a gardener. And uh, Albert's going to help me out with a problem that I have. How are you doing, Albert? I'm fine. Thank you, Melanie. Well, Albert, I have um, issues with my lawn. It just doesn't look good. I've got patches that are all brown and yellow and dried up. And as well, the skunks have come in and I've started tearing up the lawn and I just don't know what's going on. But actually, the problem is not caused by the skunks. It's the white grub that is the, the, the problem, the main cause here. The white grub actually is the larvae of tree insects. First, it's the larvae of the June beetle, the common June beetle. It's a brown beetle, big brown beetle. There's also the European chafer and as well the Japanese beetle. And all these uh, insects uh, lay their eggs in the soil and then these white grubs are coming out from the, the eggs. And the, the favorite meal of these grubs is the lawn, is the roots, are, are, are the roots of the lawn. And this way they can eat all the, all the sod and make it look really ugly, brown and yellow. Uh, these white grubs actually take the form of a C. They, they have a big brown head, six legs and a big white body. So these white grubs are chewing on the roots of the grass yeah. and causing the, rat, the grass to die. But how do I get rid of these white grubs? But actually what you can do is buy this product. It's called Bioproduct NEM and this product is made of nematodes. The nematodes are little microscopic worms. These worms are going in the soil with water. They drive in the soil with water and they go directly to uh, parasite the white grubs and then they, they make them uh, die. Great, and so when's, uh, when's the right time to apply the treatment for white grubs? This product is, uh, is working well when the temperature of the soil is, uh, is going to 15 degrees Celsius. And you can use it by the end of summer, end of August, debut of September, and uh, you, uh, you have the nematodes in a white sponge like this. So the little microscopic worms that are called nematodes are kept in the, in the sponge? Yeah, and you put this sponge in water, you dilute that in water, so this way you can spray it on the soil. But you can do also uh, a spraying in, uh, in spring. There's uh, another strain of nematodes that are, uh, this strain is uh, easily working when the temperature is lower by 10 degrees Celsius, so you can use by the end of spring. So you can do two treatments in the year, once in the spring and once at the end of the summer yeah. to, to treat. And how does this treatment work? How do you apply the nematodes? It's pretty easy. First, you take off the sponge from the box. And with the box, there's a, a nematode sprayer that is coming. And you can put the sponge directly in the, in the bottle like this with a, a little bit of water. You just pose it on the sprayer like this. And then you shake it, so this way the nematodes are going in water, and you spray it on the on on the on the grass like this. You have to spray it early in the morning or late in the afternoon, so this way the sun won't uh, do no harm to uh, to the nematodes. The nematodes. And how much water do you need to use to do the treatment? Actually, you only have to, to plug it on your rows like this, and there's enough nematodes in, the, in one sponge to cover 3,000 square feet or 27,500 meters. Uh, so this way, uh, you have enough, with one sponge actually, you have enough, uh, enough stuff to cover uh, a small lawn. So are there any special requirements when you apply the treatment? Make sure that the, the, the product is, uh, is sprayed on the soil that is moist. So before do the, the spraying, make sure that your, your grass is, uh, has been uh, well, well uh, wetted. And then you, uh, for a period maybe of, uh, of a week, six or seven days, make sure that you, you water your, uh, your grass every day. So you have to keep the soil really moist for a week after. Yeah. But can you go walk on the grass or can, you, can the kids play on the lawn after the treatment? Of course, this product is natural. It's perfectly ecological. So this way it's, it's not harmful to humans or to pets. So don't worry, your kids can go uh, play on the lawn. Your pets can go on the lawn and uh, there won't be problems. So how do you store this product? Actually, when you'll, uh, you'll buy it in the garden center, it has to be kept in the refrigerator. But of course, when you go home, you have to put it in your car. It's like ice cream. 
you 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 don't want it to 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 be kept there for three or four hours, half an hour or so. That's okay. But then when you you arrive home, you have to put it in the fridge before using it. Well, great. This is all really interesting, but it's a lot of information to remember. Yeah, of course. But in all the garden centers, when you uh, you can find the, the bioproduct name, you'll find also these pamphlet when everything I've been uh, saying there is summarized. Well, great. Great. This is really interesting. Well, thank you very much, Albert. I'm ready to treat for my white grubs now. Mm -hmm.